Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising monthly tarot reading for December 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Virgo star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore in this video I will try to do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings also um, as this is a, a month of uh, celebration, you know, Christmas and all that, uh, there is a Christmas sale going on, which simply is uh, the the 20 and the 30 minute service for a live reading are with abated prices. So if you want to take advantage of that, you can consider it. And uh, if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about your month, specifically career and relationship, there is a uh, extended monthly tarot reading that can be obtained for just $1.49 from my website in which video there for the extended we are focusing specifically on career and relationship for the representative star sign. So that being said going to the uh, general spread of the month here the first card which points to the uh, topic the general topic here that is going to be the six of cups just like this right so the six of cups it's a, a very positive in the same time very petite card it is petite because it does regard to the small blessings that one has in their lives uh, that it is very difficult to be explained and that's why I want to give you that specific example imagine it like you are to enjoy life just like a toddler does it so in a sense of that you may find it you may find very amusing throughout the month things that normally uh, and for the other people will seem kind of silly they are going to seem goofy and etc etc it's kind of like you will be able here Virgo throughout this month to extract every single drop of happiness from every single um, activity and enterprise that you are involved in uh, therefore it does look like that you are going to be a very very bright person throughout that specific month this card in the grand scheme of things when it comes to a topic it does represents that you are to experience joy in everything that you involve yourself in all right so it does look like this is going to be a quite happy month uh, where as I said, you are going to find a positive outlook of everything that you are contributing for. Additionally, the Six of Cups, when it comes to interaction, does mix the uh, emotional and the physical part of those interactions. So uh, the people that you are going to invest your time with doesn't necessarily need to be a romantic investment here. You are going to like them uh, emotionally and physically as well. So uh, this is kind of like hard to comprehend, you know, but just think about it that way. I mean, people that you are going to spare time with, you are not going to be ashamed of how they look like. Uh, because, you know, many times uh, we kind of find it very inappropriate to hang out with people that are we are finding physically repulsive. <clears throat> but that is not going to be the case for throughout the month. So this card here does not give us any concrete um, fulcrum to focus on, but just tells us that this month is going to be rather very joyful where you can really clinch on a uh, creative side of your nature and as well, you know, have a, a very, very happy and positive time with enterprises and with people that you will choose to involve yourself with. The next card, it regards to the um, intentions or the best possible course of action here. Six of Swords. A very peculiar falling into that specific place. The Six of Swords asks you to be more adventurous than uh, than usual. So while throughout the month, you know, you're seeing the positive, uh, the positivity in every situation you are involved, you are involved, you are involved 
yourself in. <clears throat> Again, the six of uh, the six of swords asks you to explore it to its outer limits. So, in another sense, this card asks you to throw yourself a little bit outside of your comfort zone, explore unknown shores figuratively spoken and uh, as well uh, do not allow yourself to be afraid of certain thresholds that you may be required to cross uh, to cross through or to traverse uh, the six of swords is displayed like I a brave actions want to improve their circumstances and you may see a, a window of opportunity here experiencing this overflowing joy from everything that you are involved in the um, again the window of opportunity to do something for yourself so you can improve your current circumstances either into your career or either into your relationship so what this card here tells us as a follow-up to the six of cups is that these uh, happy circumstances you know these exhilarating um, events are happening for a reason and that reason is you to capitalize on them and to use them so you can just improve in the long term again your personal circumstances either into your career or either into your relationship as well then the next card it is the challenges which are causing predicaments to you that is going to be the two of cups very peculiar card uh, again falling into that position usually the two of cups is uh, considered one of the most you know positive cards in tarot deck preaching love and preaching emotional attachment here that is to be a shared one and etc etc and that will be the difficulty to share uh, to share poignant experiences just because you are now feeling happy here and feeling strong enough to take those adventures in front of you you may try to bury uh, down the poignant experiences from the past and experiences that need to be talked over what happened to you why you are not agreed with it you know why did it hurt you as well and of course talking about those stuffs with the faithful companions that you are to acquire in case you don't have any right now but you are to acquire here for sure because the six of cups has also a gypsy meaning of friendship all right uh, they are to be ready to listen and to offer you an, an emotional support and that's why even though those kind of uh, you know Po uh, poignant ex remnants of the poignant experiences of the past may jeopardize here and there you know the positive outlook of your month and the positive experience of the month itself it is important to be acknowledged that they are important to be spoken about because through you speaking uh, with uh, with those faithful companions about what you have experienced what you had as an experience as a bad thing you know in the past is going to severely diminish the emotional and the mental pain that you are having once you kind of like recall back the memory of that specific event the next card that we do have is the um that will be the guidance the tarot has for you and this is the eight of wands and that kind of like strengthens the six of swords in that specific case but unfortunately weakens the positive outlook of the two of cups and also weakens the positive outlook of the six of cups and basically what that card has here is that you should not how can i place it um, you should allow the situations to unfold when you involve yourself into them because as I explained th uh, till now the month is going to be dappled with a very emotionally happy um, enterprises and you may find yourself torn apart in which one you want to involve yourself in just to give you an example here a, a couple or even triple of friends of yours are calling you <clears throat> and asking you you know to hang out with them and etc etc and just because you don't want to kind of like um, uh, deny any of those uh, any of those offers uh, you are separating your time among them and thus not giving enough time for neither of them to really allow you to share with them you know the poignant experience from the past so you can find solace in those sharing that's why it will be very important this card here points that as soon as you spot 
the uh, the opportunity for yourself to feel happy you should not second guess it but rather jump into it and start exploring it than seeking a additional or another opportunity for you to um, to capitalize on uh, because the eight of wands from another perspective it does point to opportunities coming around but they are not meant for us necessarily what i mean is that they just fly by and go with the flow if one does not seize them and therefore you are, if you are out, allow yourself to be scampering around you know and exploring this one and that one at the end those opportunities if not seized they are going to fly by and go with the flow as i said and uh, leaving you empty handed that's why you have, as soon as you spot your thing here the friend that you can spend quality time with the hobby that really makes makes you happy and etc etc or the mutual activity with your partner in relationship that kind of makes you both feeling happy and kind of makes you closer to one another you should keep on practicing that thing rather than searching for something additional to uh, to your daily routine and then the last one that will be the final outcome here we do have the hermit so a, a very serious direction of your life is going to take place around the end of of the month the hermit is this how can i place it uh this new direction that one takes that it is supported by intelligent and very a wise decision made that uh, usually the others which are insignificant to that specific move of yours cannot recognize it and they cannot see the the logic behind it therefore it is unlikely that there will be someone there to applaud you once uh, you decide you know that that is the thing for you and you want to keep on moving with them most likely its uh, its foundation will be found not most likely but almost certainly its foundation will be something exhilarating here happening too throughout the month which you are recognizing to be the thing you want to push on forward with and just to give you an example of that because that explanation seems kind of a little bit vague so if we are following the um, the example of triple friends calling you around you know and asking for you to uh, spend time with them first time around you can do so just so you can find out that one of them one of those friends really seems more interested in you than the others and therefore you keep maintaining uh, mainly that specific connection here finding yourself capable to share with them things that you are incapable sharing with anybody else and through that you're realizing that that relationship can be pushed even further here with the six of swords explaining how you need to place yourself outside of the comfort zone you know and this kind of stuff so you can improve your personal circumstances in the relationship field and keeping on to that specific um to that specific opportunity at the end you both realize that you are simply meant for one another and and even though this is a thing that the rest of your friends will not approve that is exactly the direction that you need to move on forward with and as you can see you know it highly depends uh, on your personal situation and that's why these cards are about a, a general reading and I hope that all of you Virgos will be capable to make something out of those explanations of the cards I mean, uh, because every situation of you guys, it's completely, completely different from one another and it is impossible for someone with a just the five cards to cover the, the global population of Virgo star sign. So uh, that concludes here the reading and uh, at the end of the month of December, something I can say very, very significant that it is a, a fulcrum of your future activities and deeds is to happen. And don't be discouraged again if you do not if you do not face much support from those that you are counting on uh, in this specific enterprise. So again, that being said, Virgos, this was your uh, December monthly video and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, you know, this was just a general reading for Virgo star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, in this video, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, just like I did for that example, um, 
that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their uh, as their pricings and uh, again if as this is a uh, month of celebrations at the end there is a christmas sale going on which simply is abating the prices of the 20 and the 30 minutes tarot reading live tarot reading with me so that being said guys right signing out now See you next time. Bye.